Hello, hello, good morning. Morning, morning, morning. So I woke up and I showered and I have a mask in my hair, so ignore the fact that I look terrible. But uh, I woke up to a message from my friend Carmaxla and she asked me for uh, advice on her painting. So I was like, oh, I can uh, I can do that. And I was like, I'm going to do this anyway. I might as well do it live. So let me pull this up on the screen. Okay, so this, I have this in Photoshop. This is Carmaxla's painting. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, where's my, oh no. I knocked everything over yesterday when I moved my camera around. I don't see my pen. Usually when I draw, maybe it's under. I have this one. I don't like this one very much, though. I have, like, my go-to pin, which I probably should have found before I went live, but oh well. So, uh, good morning. Hello. Have you been to sleep yet? Yes, I, I've passed out where... Oh, no! Damn it. <sighs> All right, I might have to redo this entire thing. <laughs> ah, this is so annoying. When I restart my computer, it should reset my pin. My computer's been weird lately. Maybe if I just turn the screen off one second. Let me go back to this screen. So I have a Wacom tablet or a Wacom Cintiq. I have this pen, which I hate using. It doesn't work very well. So uh, whenever, if you guys ever get a drawing tablet, honestly, just just use the standard pen, the one that I got this Oh, look, it's supposed to be an airbrush pen. It's supposed to feel like an airbrush. It doesn't. It sucks. It's $100 down the drain. And then it doesn't collaborate correctly with anything. So let me try. Okay. Let's see. Pen. I need to collaborate my keyboard real fast. Or not my keyboard, my uh, screen. Okay. Cancel. Collaborate. To do this thing on the screen where you touch it and it collaborates, but for some reason, mine hasn't been working. <sighs> it's not aligned. Try again. This is so annoying. I might have to redo this stream because it, my pin isn't collaborating, or I could just do it with a mouse. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. It looks like I'm gonna have to do this with a mouse, which I'm not happy about because this is this is ridiculous. All right, well, I guess we're going to do this with a mouse. Uh, let me try. So annoying. All right, so ignore the fact that I'm using a mouse for this, and it's not going to look nearly as good as if I had a pen. And I don't know what happened with Photoshop, but it all of a sudden uh, stopped working. So I think she's painting, like, her, either this is her, and, like, she's going to paint her friends. But so... She said it took her six hours, which I'm so impressed by how much she has progressed. And I'm just going to go through and just do like a little few little things. It's not going to be polished, but I'm just going to make it a little bit more so it pops. Okay, let's... This is the problem when you use a pen. <laughs> or not using a pen, you use a mouse. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do first is where this character's legs are I'm going to make it darker so that way the wheel stands out and it creates that dimension so you guys can already see the difference so already by doing that and I'll, I'll zoom in so just by adding that little darkness it adds depth right there where the uh, wheel is uh, so and you really want to make sure, especially when you're doing something like foreshortening. Now, she, I just want to preface with this already, I think, looks really good. I think she's doing a really good job. And it's only like a few little things that she needs to do to really make it pop a bit more. And I think she'll be good to go. She said she still has to paint uh, Luigi. I think this is supposed to be like her. Yeah, current a friend. So what I usually do when I do like these little critique or like paint overs, which everyone gets mad when I post these on Twitter. They're like, how dare you do a paint over? 
you are terrible. I'm like, this is literally how you get better. If you are ever in any kind of like art school or art, you're getting instructed in some way, shape or form. There's going to be someone that's going to draw over your stuff to help you. And it's like the one medium that you shouldn't get upset about because it's it literally does help. So I'm just adding, like, you see, I added that little highlight to the arm. And watch, I'm going to take this off, and you're going to see the difference. See? So there's going to be some on the hat, but it's not going to be this bright. It's going to be... She already is doing a good job with this hat, with that underlying uh, brightness. Okay. And then let's get this. I'm going to have to go a little bit darker around the rim. Let's see. Uh, white sunspots on the race car. What? Let's see. Okay, this is a little bit too dark of a red. Let's go. And then what I would do, yeah, okay, so that's like warmish. I would go with like a muted blue to offset that, or like I guess right now I'm using a teal. But so for white, like I don't know, I never go to like grays or anything like that because there is color in it. There's going to be reflective color. And so this one I would put like a type of blue just even though there would be red reflected in this because what, what is going on because of her hat, you're going to get that in other aspects of it. So it, in my opinion, it does look better when you do something like this. And I'll just blend that out because you don't really, you don't need a hard line there. This will be something I do that's just going to make it pop like immediately. It should be like something like this, right? So that just immediately, it's like, oh, look, Look, it's all cutesy, right? There you go. And then watch, watch this. Bam. Look at that. So it's it doesn't take a lot to take something up to the next level. And sometimes you do have to wait to put in these kind of uh, details because the paint's still wet. So it's like I... I always jump the gun and I put the whites uh, in the eyes early, but you probably, you really should wait until like the last thing you do is put it in because you don't want it to get all muddy, but see already how like that just pop immediately. And she already did a good job. Like she's got the lines from the shadow. Uh, there could be like a little highlight here and it depends on how much attention you want to call to the metal. But so she's got a little bit of it right there, but then you could go like right there. That'll make it pop a little bit more. Let's turn down the, uh, let's see if I like that or not. Okay, let's get a little bit more blue in here. There we go. Okay. I'm so proud of her. I sent her a bunch of art supplies a while back because, you know, she's talked about how she wanted to get, like, into painting. And then I saw everyone was tagging me. She was doing this painting stream, and they're like, Anna, like, I, I guess she had problems, like, with the paint mix. And, like, I, I was like, oh, my God. And she's painting this horse. And I was like, oh, no. And she's like, oh, yeah, this thing. And, like, it, it was doing this. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I sent her a bunch of uh, art supplies. And so I, I'm actually really happy to see that she's, like, using them and that she's, uh, you know, working with it. I, oils are not easy. And so, you know, it's... <laughs> talk about, not easy it's really not easy so I give props to anyone that's you know willing to like try so I sent her a bunch of uh, art supplies okay I kind of want to go darker here because you want to make that this foot right here pop right so you want to show that that this foot is in front of this space 
So, oh, thank you guys for all the follows. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to darken this area. And I mean, this is like the, the crotch area. So, I mean, you don't really need to see that anyway, unless like you're doing like lewd stuff, which there's plenty of people that make lots of money making lewd uh, art. So, you know, not going to. Not gonna knock that, but I don't think that's what Carmaxla is going for. <laughs> I, I think it's safe to say. Yeah, so let's zoom out. I'll zoom in, in a little bit. Okay, uh, okay, whatever. We'll say right there. All right, so big difference already, right? So that's just on the body. And I really didn't do much. All I did was add a little bit of, you know, darks and highlights to certain areas. And it makes it, you know, just pop a little bit. And sometimes when you're doing just a, a painting, especially with oils, you put down the base and you have to wait for it to dry. So she said that this took her six hours, which props to her because this looks small. Actually, I think... Um, this looks kind of small. Yeah, so there's there's her thumb compared to the rest of it. What I would do, I, I'm assuming that this is her because it's like the C and it's got the kind of similar hair color to her and the, the blue eyes like her. So what I would actually do is, I mean, I don't know if she wants makeup on here, but I'm a girl and I like makeup. So I would put like blush. I see she's got it like a little bit. But like just a little, like, and it's the less is more kind of thing. So a little bit goes a long way. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to use, people are like, don't use the blur tool. I'm like, the blur tool is great, especially when you're doing like edits like this. So I'm just going to blur and I'm going to erase it a little bit to smooth it back in. But this will make it pop, especially when you have a female character. And I hope that this is helping you guys in a way if you guys are interested in like learning about uh, like art techniques or anything like that. And if you guys want me to critique your work like this, I'm happy to do so if you guys want help with any of your projects. Um, I really like this color. I might just erase it. Yeah, I'm gonna erase this. I like where it was on this this cheek let me actually do this so here we go and then we'll just move it to the bed. this is so it'll match a little bit better thank you for the follow i appreciate it okay so now this is like okay uh, much better than the that pink this is like just an orange so what i did was i pulled it from the the skin so in photoshop you have the eyedropper and you can just find uh the colors and so I th I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Carmaxla. So she has this really cool thing with her irises where the rims of her eyes are like a really dark blue. And then the center is a lighter blue. And so she has this cool like halo effect on her eyes. So if she's if this is supposed to be her, I would definitely add that. Because I think that's like a really cool feature to have. And I've painted a lot of eyes. And the ones that people like usually like to rewatch the most are ones when people have that. Because it's really cool to see when you have like that stark of a contrast. And Carmaxa has like really intense eyes. Let's get the lips a little bit more pink. This is a girl. It's not a boy. And it's not even necessarily like the makeup aspect of it. It's you want to get those values in. So when I refer to values, I'm talking about light to dark. So when you have, you know, a light value... Uh, you'll have like like this. So this is a lighter value. This is a darker value. So you do need to have that contrast in values. And so since she's got this, let me turn the opacity up. And I'm going to blur it. A 
color I was at. There we go. I hope everyone's morning's going well. Wow, 48 people watching me do uh, art. I like it. Okay, I really wish I had my pin. I would be able to do this a lot faster. But uh, my pins are not working this morning, which sucks. Okay, and so now what you do to make the lips pop, you get a highlight. And then you blur it out. Let me see. I don't know if I like what I did to the face. I think it, it looks better from farther away. I still do want to mute these cheeks, though, a little bit because the color that she used is, like, more of a muted tan as compared to, like, I use warmer colors in the face where she uses, like, it's it looks a little bit cooler. So, and this is just a, a matter of preference. I like to use warmer colors in the face, even when people have cool, uh, cool hues because I, I just... I think it looks better and it looks more natural, especially in a painting. Okay. And you don't have to agree with me. You can you can like it the other way. I just think, like, from my own personal experience, when you want things to look, uh, if you're going for, like, a real realistic, you don't exactly have to, obviously, do... Um, like the, those cools, you need you can put the cools when somebody has a cooler like uh, skin color. You use that in the highlights, and that really makes it pop. So that's one of the things that I I personally like to do, and I think it it gives it like a nice um, like a dynamic to the skin because you don't usually expect people's skin to have like bright. Uh, blue highlights and I, I just I really like that dimension it gives so when I was doing the eye project and uh, there would be people that have those kind of complexions I was like oh this is going to be fun when I get to do the uh, you know the, the highlights on there and so this is I don't know if she wants to do it this way so she, I'm just but I'm going to do it because I think it's going to since this is a female character and I do think it will help make it pop, especially from uh, the hair. Now, this line's going to be really messy because I'm using my mouse since my pin is not working. I don't know what happened. One day, all of a sudden, my pin, uh, if I don't restart or, like, turn off my computer, my pin loses collaboration, which I every night I, you know, turn off my computer and so I shouldn't have this problem, but I have been having this problem. And it's really freaking irritating. And so right now my pin, in theory, should be working, but it's not. And I don't know how to fix it. So something I'm live, learning to live with. So we're doing the mouse. Okay. So. Let's make this part. Darker, so the bottom is lighter. We'll do the same on the other side because you want that white to stand out. And then this is what I was talking about with a. So Mario, they they of course have like the iconic looks, and I don't want it to look like she has a bunch of eyeliner on. I just want to show the you know where that that crease is from like the eye. And so I'm blurring it out now. Now you could always use like a dark brown, but I already know I'm going to be like blending it. So using like the the tone down, like I have the opacity turned down to the black. Uh, you know, so the black shows a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. One thing I'll show you guys in a minute is I'll flip the the screen. And that's a really good uh, technique to have. Okay. 
I've been really wanting to watch Lord of the Rings like all day. Whenever there's like a a holiday that has to do with like military, I just always want to watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> My favorite uh, Lord of the Rings movie is The Two Towers. I mean, I like I like the other two, but The Two Towers is freaking great. <laughs> There's this uh, account on Instagram that I follow, and they post, like, behind-the-scenes Tolkien clips from, like, the making of the movie. And one of my favorites is... Uh, Christopher Lee explaining because I guess Peter Jackson wanted him to make like a certain sound when he's stabbed and he's like that's not what it sounds like and then <laughs> Peter Jackson's like and then Christopher Lee went into like this detailed <laughs> explanation of how like it sounds like when somebody's stabbed and he was just like I just took a step he's like I knew this guy did some things in World War II <laughs> and so he's like I just let him do his thing because <laughs> he knows and he's like when somebody is that de gives it that detailed of a description of what it sounds like when a person dies <laughs> and I was like oh my But yeah, no. Helm's Deep is awesome. Like everything about that movie is good. I really, I really like the second one. I like the third one too because it like gets me in the Fifi's. But I, I even like what's going on. So one of my favorite characters is Faramir because for a very, very long time, uh, me and my mother did not get along. And so, like, I know exactly what it's like to, like, be the disappointing child. And it's like, everything I do is wrong. Uh, there's nothing I can do to please my parent. And, you know, always living in the shadow of, like, your siblings and stuff like that. Even though I was the oldest uh, out of my sisters. And so, I'm just like, I feel you, Faramir. I feel you, especially, like, in the in the last one. But I always liked Faramir well so it was like cool and then like he shows he's a good per like he's better than his brother like he that's why he lives and his brother didn't because he uh he lets Frodo go which I mean Baromir was like you know getting all all fucked with by the ring so it's not it wasn't really like Baromir's fault I'm sure he was a great guy but uh yeah that's what the ring does to people it corrupts It was funny, though, when I was at uh, L.A. Comic-Con and we did our, uh, like, the panel. And Gary talked about, you know, how that was, like, the first character that, like, embodied addiction. So I've never been uh, addicted to anything. I've never really done, like, hard drugs or anything. Like, the hardest thing I feel like I've ever done was ecstasy. And that was at a, uh, I was at Coachella many years ago. And that, I felt like, was just, I'm I'm at a con. I'm, like partying you know like it's not like I just do it in my daily life I'm like no uh, and I was one of those people that I'm like I I don't think it's a bad thing if you like try something once especially if you feel like safe about doing it but like there's some things that I would never try like I would never do like um like something that is going to change my body chemistry like something like heroin or something like that like and also I don't like needles so the most I've ever done is like E or Molly and that that's it. I don't, I don't want to do anything else. The, I mean, the only thing that I ever actually wanted to do was I did want to try acid. Uh, <laughs> I was told the best way to listen to Sergeant Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club Band was to just be in a room with all the lights off and like light candles and listen to that while you're <laughs> on acid. And I was like, oh, that's probably a fun time. But uh, I, I got and me and Sav were gonna drop some and paint, but uh, then my ex took it, which which is fine. I, it, it's what I'm at that age now where I'm like I feel like I'm too old to do any of that now, so it's not the the biggest deal. But I did want to try something once. But so when Gary actually was talking about what it was like, like watching um, Smeagol 
where I have, I lost like so many brushes. My computer did this huge reset and I lost everything. So I have like none of my actual brushes. It's like I have the general brushes, which I never use. I had all of these like cool hair brushes and then Sav sent me a bunch of brushes and they like double. I don't know, where is it? Okay. Oh, this isn't going to work because I don't have my pen. Damn it. Ugh. Mm, no. Okay, we're just, we'll just go back to the regular. I don't even see like my paint brushes. What the hell is this? Okay. All right, well, I'm failed. Complete failure. We'll just go back to my regular brushes. Uh, I don't know what happened to all my brushes. It's the unfortunate aspect of life. Nope. Give me a brush. But, um, yeah, I never really thought about, uh, what? Oh, God damn. About that character that way, because obviously I've never been addicted to anything. Uh, so I didn't see it that way. And so it's one of those things that when somebody, oh gosh, dang it, come on. When somebody points that out to you, then it's like you can't like unsee it. No, no, I don't want blend. I just want regular brush. Let's go to general. Dry mix, maybe. No. Mm. Yeah, I can do that one with the stuff turned down. But so, yes, yeah, so I never really thought about it like that. And then, like, now I, like, I can't unsee it. Okay, I don't like that brush. We'll just go back to the regular round brush. And so it's like you... It, this is why I really like you. I like hearing other people's perspectives because another person can open your eyes and like show like something that you've seen a million times. And it just takes one person with a different perspective than you to like make you realize something that like was always there, but you just never saw. And I mean, again, I, I've never had that experience of having like an addiction to something. So I have no like you know, preconceived notion of what that's like. So seeing Schmeagol, like I always thought that that was, I didn't see it as an addiction. I saw it as a, like a mental illness and a uh, like schizophrenic type of thing. I never even put that with an addiction type of uh, mindset, but I, I guess that's what it's like according to uh, somebody that's been addicted to something. Okay. Now what I'm going to do... Do you not do edible? Uh, I'll have edibles from now every now and again, but uh, th that's just like pot. I don't really. And I haven't done that in a while. I don't know. You guys probably know when it was the last time. But I, I honestly don't really like getting high. I much prefer to like just drink. I, I enjoy drinking. But I, I have... I know myself better when I when I drink as compared to if I was, uh, you know, high. I don't really like uh, the feeling of being high. I I can't control myself, or I have no control over my body. Whereas, like, if I'm drunk, I know the stages and I know how to like get myself out of it, which is basically just to you know sleep it off or eat. And I feel like I burn it off faster. Whereas when I'm high, it just, I, I don't have control. I just get really hungry and then I get really sleepy and I, I don't like myself when I'm high, but I, I, and I know that I'm a very happy drunk, which that honestly is probably the best thing. Like, cause you have no control over what kind of drunk you are, but I am so grateful to the, the gods of alcohol that I am a happy drunk because if I was not a happy drunk, I that would be fucking miserable. I would never drink because I'd just be a miserable cunt. I've been around people that are angry drunks or like the the sad crying. Like whenever they drink, they're like, eh, the world is ending. I'm so grateful I am not like that. It's like my worst nightmare. And then somebody told me once, they're like, oh, if the way you are drunk is like how you really are. I'm like, oh, so I'm really happy. 
<laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I'm actually a happy person. Uh, okay. Let me zoom out. So let me show you guys just what I've uh, done. So I have added... I've made it dark right there. I've obviously added a bit to the face to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to turn it off and show you the difference. That was before and that's after. Before, after. Before, after. See the difference? Yes, your true feelings come out when you're drunk. So I'm just happy about everything all the time. That's what happened. When I get drunk, I, <laughs> I just get really happy. And you guys know I laugh. I just start smiling and I tell everyone how much I love them. Like, that's me. Okay. don't know what the background is going to be so I'm just gonna just do this just for my own reference I'll need to like look up what a Mario don't worry I'm gonna erase that in a second I just want it for uh like my own mind so I can see Okay. I'll turn this layer down a little bit. I just want like a very light hue of it. Let's see. Okay. Let's zoom back in. Let's touch the steering wheel. But oh, it's green. That's that's weird. I wasn't expecting green to be in it. Okay, we'll just, I guess we can go with green. Okay, so, wait, wait. I want to show that coming out. Oh, shit, that's why. I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Straight to black because you're going to want that to pop. Thank you. I appreciate all of the follows. Okay, we're going to have to add this so that way I can see her fingers. What are you saying? <sighs> Yes, Holocron, that, that's basically it. Uh, you say you're happy drunk means you probably hang around people that make you happy and get pissed off, whatever. No, So I've been around people that I can't stand, but like, and people that have really hurt me in the past. But when I'm, when I'm drunk, it, like, it really doesn't bother me. Like, I, actually, there was somebody recently, I was at... Um, there was an event going on in my hometown and there was a bunch of people that I went to high school with there and one of my exes. So I, I, 
Let me just preface. I never wanted to date this guy. He was one of my friends. I was not attracted to him, but I had this friend who we're not friends anymore. I was her only friend in high school and I like made her hang out with my friends and she like wanted me to date him so bad. And I was single and he was single. She's like, he likes you. You need to date him. And I'm like, I have, I'm not interested in him. And she's like, Anna, just try it. You need to like, you know, you need to give him a chance. Like he could be the one. And I was like, God damn it. And she just annoyed me enough to where I, I, I finally, I did. I, I went out with him. I wasn't interested in him. I didn't want to do anything with him. Like, I'm like, we're just friends. Like we've been friends for years. I, I'm not interested in dating him. Like I know that he's like a douche when it comes to girls. And like, I, I'm like, and here's another thing. I'm like, if you're like, also, if you don't like me, then just break up with me or like, you know, just don't waste my time. But I don't like being lied to. I'm like, don't, don't lie to me. And I, I used to do uh, like camp counseling for like kids. And so I was going away for uh, like five days to do like this counts, like this camp counseling thing. And so surprise, surprise. So I am part of the, like the polar bear club and so that's where you get into like the ice water like from the mountain like the snow drop off so i i where i i would go is uh like one of the like the parks for kids uh that's off of yosemite uh, if you could look up like yosemite national park and so that's what i i would do and <laughs> it was cool because i have um like experience working with like larger animals since i grew up on a ranch and so they would always call me whenever they, they needed someone and they knew that I would go up and it was like, of course I'm like a teenager in high school. So I didn't, I didn't really get paid for any of it, but it went towards like school credits and college credits. And I got, um, I got, uh, like a lot of like really, really nice, uh, letters of recommendation, which meant nothing because I went to an art college, but so they it was right after, uh, one of like our, I guess all the big snow melt. So there was a bunch of stuff. So I was going up for like the big, like polar bear, uh, like the polar bear ice challenge. And we were getting like a hundred kids to, to do it. And so when you have like a hundred children going in like icy snow water and then trying to not get them or you know, trying to make sure that they didn't get uh, hypothermia, <laughs> it's um, you know, it's interesting. But uh, so I went up there for that and my my prom was coming up. And so I was like, oh, my God, is this guy going to ask me to prom? Because I really didn't want to go with him. But I mean, but he was my boyfriend at the time. But like I said, I wasn't interested in him at all. And he texted me and I didn't have service when I was up there, but he texted me right before I, I went up there. He's like, hey, you're going to hear something uh, when you get back. But I want to talk to you first. And I thought he was going to ask me to prom. And I was like, are you asking me to prom when I'm not there? Like, are you doing something? Because I was missing like this big pep rally. And so I was like, are you asking me to like the pep rally at prom? Or like, are you, excuse me, are you asking me to prom at the pep rally that I'm not even going to? And uh, guess what? He didn't ask me while we were still dating. He asked another girl and my mom, my, so my sister was a, a cheerleader at the time. And so my mom was there seeing my sister do her like little cheerleading thing. And my mom knew that he was like still my boyfriend. And so my mom was pissed. She's like, did you literally like, she's like, you just asked out another girl to prom at this pep rally in front of everyone when you're dating my daughter and like, like I said, I'm like, I, if he wasn't into me and, you know, didn't want to be together, that's fine. You know, I didn't want to be with him either. I liked uh, another guy, which I wasn't sure if he was into me and that, that guy ended up being like my high school sweetheart. And then I realized when I moved to San Francisco that he was gay and was in denial about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you don't know when you're a teenager. I don't even I think he knew, but was in denial about it. But anyways, uh, so 
it, it eventually worked out. But I'm like, I just I didn't like the fact that we were friends and he did that to me because I'm like, we were friends for a long time before we kind of got like forced into dating each other. All you had to do was tell me. But no, you wait until I'm out of town and like you could have just we could have just ended it right before I went out of town. But so and then the girl, I guess, like said yes to not embarrass him. And then she uh, like told him no, like after and told him that that was fucked up. And she and I weren't even really friends. But uh, even she like emailed or not emailed, <laughs> texted me and told me that she thought that that was fucked up. And she's like, I didn't know he was going to do that. Like, I, I told him no, like that, that's fucked up. And I was like, yeah, thanks. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't really care. And then I did end up going to the prom with the guy that I actually liked. And, but so I hadn't talked to that, that guy since, uh, since high school, basically. I don't even think I talked to him like after that happened. I was like, no, fuck you. I'm like, it's one thing to like. I know you're screwing, like, you know, you're, you're a shitty guy to, like, your partners and stuff, but, I'm like, well, we were friends for a long time. I at least deserved, like, some kind of consideration, and the fact that I didn't even get that, I was like, all right, you know what? You're not going to give me any kind of, like, respect or consideration. You're really not worth my time as a human being. But so, point of the story was, so I was really drunk because I was at this, like, event in my hometown. I was seeing, like, a bunch of, like, my old friends from high school, and he was there, and I ignored him, like, the first night, and then the, uh, so uh, another thing I should add, so his best friend, uh, who was my, my age, last, he, uh, passed away the, a few months before my sister did, and his friend that passed away was uh, like my sister's like first boyfriend. And I wanted to kill this guy because I'm like, you are 18 years old and my sister is 14 years old. Like, what the fuck are you doing to my little sister? But I he you know, he passed away and I didn't go to the funeral because I'm like, the last thing I said to this guy was I kind of threatened to. <laughs> I was like, I will fucking kill you if you do anything to my little sister. Um, and so the last, the only times that he and I ever really talked to one another were, uh, was basically me yelling at him for doing mean things to my sister, who was way too young to be dating a boy that age. And I get it. He was like the cute boy in high school. But even then, I'm like, leave my sister alone. You know, but she liked it because it's like, ooh, the cool senior boy likes me. And I'm like, <sighs> but whatever. But so I'm like, I didn't go to his funeral because I'm like, I, I, the only time I talked to this guy was giving him hell for, you know, I'm like, you, she's too young for you, man. But, but so I hadn't talked to him about this. And so, you know, I, I was just super drunk and I was like, are you going to like say hi to me? Like, you you know, I didn't go to his funeral. You didn't come to my sister's funeral. And, you know, I was just like, what, what? And I, I was like, I don't even care anymore. It's been so long. You know, yeah, you were an asshole to me when we were in high school. And I was like, karma probably got you back at this point. And he like looked at me like, <laughs> he's like, wow, I never thought you would talk to me again. And I was like, you don't really deserve uh, my acknowledgement, but I'm too drunk to care at this point. And I think it's weird that, you know, we're, we're both here. Like we haven't even acknowledged each other's existence. And I was like, I understand. And I'm like, I know that like his his death really hurt you and like he was you know he was also friends with my sister and I'm like you didn't go to her funeral I obviously didn't go to Bobby's funeral and you know there's just been a lot that's happened and I was like oh well, well you know you, you basically basically what I just said I'm like you know what you, you hurt me uh you know you ruined any kind of friendship that we had but I never believed in karma before but life has kind of taught me that <laughs> You know, I don't really have to do anything. Bad things will happen to bad people or people that deserve it. So, you know, there's not and I don't have to do a damn thing. So. And I said that and I was like, all right, well, I hope I hope you're enjoying life and I hope you're a better person now. But, uh, you know, so, yeah, that that's me being drunk and dealing with somebody I don't like. All right, here we go. <sighs> OK, here we go. Let's look at the difference 
What do you guys think? Maybe it takes it to a little bit of the next level. I want to put highlights on here. How many layers are you using? One. So for those that are joining later, so my friend Carmaxla did this painting and she asked me for uh, tips. And so this is me just doing like a rough paint over just to make things pop. And I think uh, it'll help when she's when she gets back to painting it because she'll have like kind of a base to to look at. And guys, if you guys are uh, getting into art and you want uh, tips and like me to do a paint over of your stuff, I don't mind doing it. If you guys need help, uh, I spent a lot of money on an art degree, so uh, <laughs> I have no no problem helping out anyone that uh, is actually looking to you know better themselves. So I've been looking for like, it's, it's one of my favorite shirts. It's a, is it Nerf or Neff? I don't know, but it's, it's this shirt. It's got Darth Vader on it and it's like got bright, like neon colors. It's like a black shirt, but like the Darth Vader is neon and I love it. And I got this memory pop up on my phone and I'm in that shirt. It's in like one of my like thumbnails and I'm like, I love this shirt and I haven't been able to find this damn shirt in like over a year. And I'm like, where is this shirt? And I want to wear it so bad. And especially since like now I, I just saw it in a photo. I'm like, ah, where's my fucking shirt? I want this shirt. And it's like one of those t-shirts. I mean, most t-shirts aren't really flattering on girls because, you know, they're, they're cut like they're more for men. And so, like, I don't really wear too many T-shirts anymore because they're not flattering on me. And, I mean, I'm a girl. I like looking cute. But this is one where it's, like, actually one of those, like, nicer high-end T-shirts that's, like, made for women. And so it, like, fits me really well. And so I'm like, ah, I want my shirt. <laughs> I want my damn shirt back. I don't know where it is. <laughs> the laundry goblin stole it. It's like, where did all the socks go? Uh, I have something you could paint over. I'd love some advice on shading. You mean rendering? Um, okay. Let me get you guys. Uh, if you actually want to message me on Instagram. So I have my Instagram handle on the, on the screen somewhere at the bottom. It's my art. Don't message my Star Wars Instagram because that Instagram, like the messages are broken. It's really weird. I have to like, I, and it sucks because I can't like search it. So if you send me a photo on Instagram, I can pull it up and, uh. What you call it? I can pull it up on screen and do what I'm kind of doing right here. I deleted my Instagram. Oh no. I love Instagram. Instagram is by far my favorite app. Like I use I, I'm addicted to Instagram. I like Instagram better than I like Twitter. What? Yeah, so my art Instagram is the art of Anna T S W G. And so if you go on there. I'll be able, and you send me a photo that you want me to paint over, I can do that. And, but let me know, like, what your goal is. Like, what, like, if this, if she sent me, so if this was the photo that I was sent, and it's like, I don't know what to do with the background. I, w I could sketch out, like, the background, but at the same time, I don't really want to, like, sketch out somebody's design. If somebody needs help, I can give them, like, tips and stuff, but... Like, like for this, uh, what did she say? I'll read you guys her exact, uh, well, not like, I'm not going to read the entire message, but I'll see what, like what she said. She said, uh, 
advice, question mark. It was uh, for a paint stream. It took me six hours. I still have to do the leaching background. So she wanted a, she wants advice on like how to do this or, you know, a little bit what to take it to the next level. So like this is my advice, <laughs> you know. Mm. Let's see. If you guys want advice on any of your work, I'm happy to help you. Or if you guys are like, um, I know, like, what should I call it? Locals keeps like messaging me, wanting me to like do more on their platform because I have a locals, but I don't really like to use it. Or, like, promote it. So, I had a Patreon, and then I am, like, I cannot get into my Patreon. I haven't been able to get into my Patreon for years. And I want to tell you guys what happened so bad, but I'm, like, that motherfucker will just keep reporting me. But I had a situation where somebody basically got a tier for, what, like, $10 a month? And they basically wanted me to be their fucking human slave. And then they... They, like, just kept backing more tier or higher tiers. Uh, and I'm like, just because you back a higher tier does not make me at your beck and call. It doesn't make me, like, your slave. And then they acted like I was the evil person. And so they said I was bullying them because I, I talked a little bit about it on a stream. And they're like, look, she's cyberbullying me. So they put me on a suspension and locked me out. And I haven't been able to get back into my account. Uh... But yeah, so, and that was just one instance. There's fucking weirdos out there. But I, I don't, I really don't like place, like, I, I wouldn't say like programs, but I don't like something like that where basically people feel like just because it's like a subscription thing that you are at their beck and call and that you are basically their slave. I, I don't like I don't like that. It's given me a really bad taste in my mouth about stuff like that. So that's why I don't promote things like locals or that's why I really didn't promote my Patreon. Like when I subscribe, I subscribe to quite a few uh, channels on YouTube and I don't expect, you know, them to stop everything that they're doing for me. I subscribe to them because I like what they do and I want to support them in more than just watching videos. And whatever extra content I get, I'm I'm grateful for. And like, like, so my favorite YouTube channel is a channel called Nerd Forge. And so they have a Patreon, but again, I'm I'm like basically blocked from Patreon, so I can't support them on Patreon. But they do like a, a show, like a behind the scenes show that I really want to like watch and stuff. And they do stuff like this where they give you tips, but I can't because it's a Patreon show. And I'm like, gosh, dang it. But, you know, I, moral story is I appreciate any support that anyone gives me, but I'm, I don't really like promoting, uh, platforms like that because I just, I feel weird about it and I don't want to be in a situation again where somebody basically sees me as their slave because they're paying me $10 a month. Like, I don't like that. I really, it, it's so uncomfortable I'm like I will help you with your drawing but don't expect me to basically be your virtual girlfriend uh and then get mad at me when I'm I'm not your virtual girlfriend it's fucking weird I just want to draw pictures or like paint pictures you know there's weirdos out there guys when are you and Peaches getting married I so I've never really wanted to get married it's never been, like, on the top of my priorities. Everyone that I've ever known, like, I've never seen people happily married until I was an adult. Like, Peaches' parents are still happily married. But I'm like, I, I feel like anytime I saw people that were married, they were miserable. And I'm like, I, so I never wanted that. I always saw marriage as, like, a bad thing. And it's just never been something that's on my priority list. And honestly, we, we probably already would have because I know that's, like, you know, something he wants. And like, we, we've talked about it, but it's not like the biggest priority. And to be honest with you guys, I really want to keep my family life as, you know, as private as can be. I, I wouldn't mind if 
you know, there weren't weirdos out there, but there are weirdos out there. And so if Peaches and I did, then, you know, there's all those like legal documents that weirdos can find and like put out there. And then I don't want to get, I've already been doxxed, but I don't want him getting doxxed. I don't want his daughter getting doxxed. I don't, I really don't want weirdos bothering my family all because I like to talk about stuff on the internet. Like I really don't like that. And so if we did get like legally married in the eyes of like the government, then there's all that information out there. So if we did, we'd have to do one of those like the celebrity ones where it's like a like, I don't know what's not public documents. And it sucks because I'm like, if we have kids like I I've actually looked into uh, how to, you know, get it so my kid, like if I ever had a kid that somebody couldn't look up their birth records because I don't want fucking weird stalkers to know personal information about like my children. I, I don't like that. And so it sucks because I've been having to like figure that out and talk to like lawyers on the side. So if Peaches and I did do something like that, it would be as private and on the DL as possible. Because, and it sucks because I'm actually a pretty open person. Like, I, I, I don't care about a lot of things. But it's like when people use my personal life to, like, fuck with me and to fuck with my family. It's stupid. Like, the weirdos that always call my grandmother. My grandma is in her 80s. She doesn't care about Star Wars. She doesn't care about Internet Wars. She doesn't care about if I think Lizzo is... <laughs> dressed inappropriately on a plane or not. She doesn't care about my opinions on the new She-Ra show, right? She she does not care. But weirdos always call her. Anytime I'm getting canceled for something, they call my 80-something-year-old grandma. And I'm like, leave my damn family alone. And so it makes me want to be as private as possible, which makes me angry because I'm like, I don't like having to do stuff like that. Like, I don't like having to you know, go the extra mile to make sure that this doesn't accidentally get out so a weirdo can hurt my family. Like, seriously, it it makes me so angry. Like, why would you call an 80-something-year-old woman to yell at her about what her granddaughter is doing on Twitter? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah, as far as, like, the whole, like, marriage thing... We probably would, if I wasn't, like, on the internet, we probably would have done it already. Uh, and I, we're at that point where we're both down to, like, one grandparent. And so, like, we've talked about it, but it just, I don't know, it just, it's not, if it was, like, just about, you know, love and, like, doing it, you know, in, like, a church in front of, like, our, our friends and family and our faith, like, that that's a different story. But even, like, in California, the way, like, things work with both of our jobs, it's, like, the government doesn't really make it beneficial to be married. Which I know a lot of people are, like, oh, for, like, the woman, it's so beneficial. But here in California, it's act it actually does me better to not be married. And so it's it's just like one of those legal things versus um, like how to say this. So there's like the legal aspect side of it and uh, the boring stuff like tax side of it and where the, the benefits are versus the um, downsides, which none of this should even be part of the conversation when it comes to like the idea of marriage. But there is that aspect of it. And it's also like the weirdo stalkers. I don't need them bothering, you know, my, my boyfriend just because of, you know, the things that I, I post or do on the internet. Like he lives with me. You think he doesn't know my opinions on things like, come on. It just, it kind of blows my mind how stupid people are sometimes. Like there was someone that's like, they sent me a message and they're like, I'm going to find your boyfriend and I'm going to tell him all the things about you. And I was like, so you're going to tell him all the things that he already knows. I'm sure he'll be thrilled about that. And like, I'm going to expose you. He's going to break up with you. And I was like, oh, you think he hasn't heard me talk about how I didn't like The Last Jedi? You think he wasn't at the theater with me? <laughs> like, oh my God, people are insane, man. And it's, 
It's exhausting. It really is. Mm, California's a shithole. I disagree. I think California is beautiful. I think the internet is a, a shithole sometimes. It's full of, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of great people I've met on the internet, but at the same time, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of crazies. But so, yeah, we, if I think we did, I don't even know if we would, uh, do it legally. Like, I think it would just be like at a church. So it would be, you know, in the eyes of, uh, you know, eyes of friends and family and faith, it would be binding, but not in the eyes of the California government, which I think is stupid in the first place. I don't think marriage licenses should exist. Uh, I think that that's absolutely bullshit, but just, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not in charge of the way that, uh, Government policy is. It's funny. Let's see. I usually don't answer personal questions like that, but so many people have asked me in the past years, and I'm like, that. That's honestly the uh, the truth of it. It's just. There's just aspects of it that are a headache. It's not that we, like, don't want to. It's it's just, you know, there's more to it than just, uh, you know, the, the getting married aspect of it. Which sucks. I wish it wasn't like that, but uh, we don't really live in simple times anymore. So, you know, you just got to deal with the cards that you're dealt and, you know, figure out how to go from there. Oh, that makes sense. Get married at a comic book store? Hell no. Why on earth would I do that? I always said I would get married at, like, that Hobbit village, but I don't know. I don't, I really don't care. Like I said, I'm not one of those girls that always had an idea of, like, how I wanted my wedding to be. I At this point, I'm just like, I just want my dad to be there and my dog. And my, I just, it's more about the people in my life than the location. At this point, I'm just like doing a lot of extra work on myself. Let's see. It really doesn't need this, uh, this much, but did somebody send me a drawing of theirs that they, did that one guy do it? Mm. It's funny though. I'm going to like so many weddings this year. Like everyone is getting married because, like, they all got engaged, like, either, like, right before COVID or after. And so everyone that was getting married, like, when all the lockdowns started, they all had everything, like, moved. And so you couldn't, like, book anything until, like, now. And so now everyone's everyone's getting married at once. And I'm like, ah, there's too many weddings I'm going to. Too many weddings. It's never going to end. One of my friends, and like they're all out of state too, which I'm like, gosh dang it. Okay. Mm, I guess the only thing I really need to 
touch up now are like the tires and stuff for her. So let's Actually, let's do this. No anime convention for Anna. No, 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 I'm not. No. No cons for me this year, it looks like. I mean, I think I might go to like one or two of them if they're like local. I just have to look up when they are. Like, when is LA Comic Con? I think I'm going to that one. Yeah, it's just it's just too much right now. And my thing, I'm like a con that I go to like every year or like my friend's wedding and fingers crossed a wedding, something that's only supposed to happen once. So I'm hoping that that is uh, the case. And I'm going into that with the open mind. That is the case. So one wedding. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I'd rather uh, support my friends on their their special day versus going to like some some con that I can go to the next year, you know? Oh, feels good. Let me see, did I get any? Nope. Yeah, well, I think this looks pretty good. Mm. Let's see, maybe we can fix the, the eyes a little bit to make the eyes pop a little bit more. Mm. There we go. great digital drawing so I'm just doing a paint over this is my friend Carmaxla's painting and she asked me for advice so I am just doing this paint over for her Can you guys hear my dog? Okay. So there it is. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Let's see. So this is before, after. Before. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's do this. So before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Or after. So it's one of those things about just values, guys. It's knowing where uh, to put the, the darker values versus the lighter values. And uh, 
make making things pop and where you want to focus on that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me take a... Okay. My, th my stuff has not been working, so I need... It's like... Okay, perfect. There we go. I'm going to send this to her. it to her hopefully she likes it but yeah yeah so what what do you guys think do you think uh you guys like the uh the advice or no i i suck you liked it better before what well, what do you think do you think this is an improvement because it, it it's already a good base to start like i think that she did a good job i just am trying to help and give notes on what I think will help, you know, bring it to the next level. What do you, yay? Do you think I did that or no, I failed? So before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after. We're not pandering. I never said you were. <laughs> and then stuff like this like even just seeing like a, a photo of this I think will help her be a good um let's see I'm gonna message her on Twitter so that way she has it there I know on Instagram messages tend to disappear. There we go. I don't know what time it is. I don't know if she's even awake. Oh my gosh, it's only eight in the morning for me. It's not even nine. Wow, I'm up early. Ah, uh, yeah, well. Oh, there's 67 people here. What's up, everyone? Welcome. Good morning. I hope you guys like these. Uh Let's see. Anna demonstrates the something. Made a clip if you want to include it. Oh, let's see. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to take a... Cool. I'll send this to her. Oh, my God. My freaking dog. Okay. Thank you, Holocron. I, uh... Did you even sleep? Oh, I knocked out. I slept so good. One, one second. Let me go grab my dog. My spoiled little angel. Come here. You want up? Can I hold you? Can I hold you? Where are you? No, this side, please. This, this side, come on. Over here, please. Sweetest girl, whole wide world. I know, thank you. Baby. My baby. Oh, you guys hear her? She honk. She's so freaking cute. I love this little doggy more than anything in the whole world. Look at her. Isn't she so cute? Here, I'll do it like. 
big screen. Look at her. Look at her little face. Look at my baby. She's so cute. Look at she's 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 so full of love. She's so full of kiss. I say it all the time. She's so full of love. And my baby. I know. Come on, let's say hi to everyone. Say hi. Hi, princess. Why oh, she wave? She waves. Look at she waves. Yeah, she's so cute. I know you're so sweet. My baby. I love this little doggy. <laughs> I know, Papa. I know. She's spoiled. I know. You're just spoiled, girl. She's just she just wants food. <laughs> Like, I need to be as cute as possible so you feed me. And it's like, you have plenty of food. Ugh, but I love the little doggy. She's such a good girl. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm sure she's, uh, Carmaxla is sleeping right now. But yeah, if you guys ever have projects and you want, uh, you want help or you guys want notes, just, uh, email me or, or message me on Instagram and I can do one of these, uh, paint overs. I... I just want everyone to enjoy what they're doing. And I know how frustrating it is when you have an idea or like a project and it's just there's something about it that's wrong and it's not clicking. And you just, you, it, it helps to have a fresh set of eyes look at something and just be completely objective. Uh, Anna is her loyal servant, basically. Hmm. You need a big dog like a Rottweiler. I have Dixie. Dixie's a big dog. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been going for one hour and 18 minutes. That's a long time. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm done. I guess, uh, I guess I can end the stream. So I haven't decided yet if I want to upload these onto my art channel or if I want to art load, uh, art load, upload them onto my live channel. I might just do it on my live channel because I do want my art channel to grow. And I have a lot of videos in the works, which I'm really excited about. And I just, I really want my art channel to grow. Let me pull it up. And so if you guys aren't <coughs> on YouTube, I, well, I want to do an art podcast actually where I have guests on and I, I talk to them. So this is my art channel. It's called, let me zoom in. It's called Anna TSWG Art Studio. I really need a better name. I, I want my name to be in it though, because if I do get to a hundred thousand subs on here I want it to have my name on it for the plaque because like I have the Star Wars girl one which is cool and all but I want I want my name to be on it but I don't have like very many videos on this channel I did a lot of live streams but I actually might just start doing all of my live streams on Twitch because I don't know. I, I like streaming on Twitch and the streaming on YouTube kills the, the channel. So I might just start doing like all of my live streaming here on Twitch and then having just videos on this channel. But I did a I did a bunch of them on here so you guys can you guys can see all of those that are on here. But uh, yeah, go subscribe to my art channel. I'm going to be posting videos on here soon. So I'm super, super excited about that. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much for uh, hanging out and watching. Let's see if there's anyone we can raid. Mm. Oh, okay, this, I guess this chick is live. Let's, what is she playing? She's playing Zelda. This thing needs a steering wheel, though. Okay, yeah, this, so this girl's playing Zelda. Let's go over and raid her. So nobody leave. We're all going to go raid. Uh, I think this is the girl that we raided last time. So everyone go over there, have fun, raid her. Nobody leave. Everybody wait so we can send over a big party. And uh, I'll see you guys later on. Uh, I have some cast later today. So uh, I heard I'll see you guys there. All right, bye, guys. Have a fun time.